Hello, hello. Welcome to uh, the second episode of the Brahma Project. So this is the breeding pen I built for this year. I'll just walk you around real quick. <laughs> So I've made up my mind this year of what I'm going to do to progress, hopefully, in the next, uh, this next year. These, uh, Ramas right here, this is what I've got. This is the rooster. He, uh, is the son of one of those hens. And course then the other one is not related to him at all um so he'll be line breeding one of the hens i don't know which one it is and that's why i'm kind of nervous about this one i'm kind of nervous about this year um i just want to make sure that i can get myself a good foundation and some records going on this year so that next year might be a little bit easier and I'm not gonna get myself into a slump where the genetics are just too close to where I'm not gonna be able to improve the genetics at all. Because um, next year, what I'd like to do is take a son from one of the hens and uh, breed that rooster with the hens, with the hens of the other hen the pullets of the other hen and that way i know that my gene pool is not mixed up too bad um now chickens can actually uh line breed several generations but like i said i don't want to get myself later on into a position where i'm not going to be able to improve on certain areas like you know whether it's the size or the color or the uh the combs or whatever it may be. Uh, I want to make sure that I just don't have it too close. Um, so then several years, a couple years away uh, from now, uh, I can then start having maybe like five or six different breeding pens and then start uh, rotating them every year after that. Um, this rooster here, I believe I got pretty lucky on him. Um, he's got a pretty nice comb on him. He's got good size. He's not yet a year old. They'll be a year old. And, uh, I think it's September. I think is when he was born. And I've got another rooster as well. I'll show you him in just a minute. I could do two breeding pens this year. But the other one I've showed him before and he's just not really, he's got too many things wrong, which I, I would rather just go ahead and take the risk in breeding these uh, this way this year. And um, I'll, uh, I'll show you both of them here in a little bit and tell you some, some uh, reasons why I don't want to use the other rooster if I don't have to. But what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do, you can see now I've got them all in the same pen. I'm going to have to start taking the hen one of the hens out and rotating them every week or every two weeks so that they can stay bred but uh right now i'm not really sure if this rooster is actually doing his job i don't know if he's quite figured it out yet his brother is only three weeks older and he has figured it out he's been trying hard uh, i've got two wind dot roosters uh that run him off and you know but he tries but this guy i'm not sure if he is i've got some eggs in the incubator right now they've been in here for about four weeks so surely to goodness if those eggs are fertile they're his and um and then i'll just start rotating the one of the hens out and just keep track of who's is who's um and I'll get them color coded and everything. So let me go ahead and show you the two roosters side by side. All right, so here we are. You can see their combs, only three weeks apart. 
and this one's got a much nicer comb, much more tidy. It's got better eyes. Uh, you may be a little slower growing, and I kind of like that uh, for health reasons. Their father died last October. I'll let this one go here. Uh, and he also, just so you know, the one I just let go, you can see that orange tint to him. He's got a lot of buff feathering. This one looks like he might have a little bit, but it's not as bad as the other one. And so, uh, that's just why I kind of picked him over, over that other rooster. But, uh, yeah, their dad died last October. Just suddenly, I fed him one morning and, and went to town. I came back, and he was dead flat on his back. So, that was unfortunate. I was planning on using him and one of his sons this year. But, uh, we'll just uh, have to do it with what we got. went ahead and put one of the hens in here just to see uh how it would go um they're used to each other they know each other the only thing i'm worried about is whether or not she's going to be uncomfortable in there especially when i'm switching back back and forth a lot uh, but uh, i'm gonna let her stay in here for a week we'll see if we get an egg out of her we'll see if we get an egg out of the other hen i'm sure we will out of the other hen but uh, I hope this this doesn't stress them out, because um, I, I need a I need to hatch as many this year as possible. So we'll see what happens. It's just all for fun, you know. Really, fun. just to get out here and and breed some chickens, and you know, it's a lot different than just breeding, uh, you know, a, a barnyard mix or something like that, which we actually do have some uh, mixed chicks right now from our blue uh, laced red wine dots and uh, i'm telling you those are some of the prettiest little chicks that you've you'll ever, ever see um but you know when it actually comes down to genetics and the chickens uh there's a lot to it and uh you know there's chicken calculators out there and and stuff like that just stuff that's over my head and i just don't really understand how to use but but uh, you know there's just certain principles to, that i'm kind of following right now so yeah. we'll see how that actually uh turns out yeah. you know here in a few years and uh see if i can actually <laughs> continue to breed different traits in you know, I don't want to get myself into a slump where it's just I don't have anything that I can, you know, use to improve. And uh, also the goal of this is to only try to use the original trio and that's it and not get any outside blood. Um, you know, a lot of people wanted me to just go out and buy some good, you know, standard of perfection birds but that doesn't really seem much of a challenge to me and so i wanted it to be challenging yes yeah, for my first time that's okay you know uh because a lot of people breeders will even tell you from all these you know discussions on different forums and stuff that you can you know these different groups you can get on on uh facebook they kind of get annoyed with people who get into the chicken business buy chickens from a standard of perfection you know breeder and then they have chicks and they call it their bloodline but it's not really their bloodline i mean it's going to take them five six generations to really get into something that's really theirs uh, so you know, by me starting off with just uh, plain old, you know, commercial chicken from a commercial hatchery, uh, I feel like here in just a few years, uh, I will really have something that, that really is, is my own and, you know, that I developed because we all know that 
chickens that come from these uh, commercial hatcheries aren't the best chickens, right? Especially when it comes to the Brahma, and the Brahma's been, you know, kind of coming back from, you know, critical, you know, uh, endangered, you know, status to now within the last probably four or five years have really just boomed and are very popular. And, uh, but I think that's kind of a reason why right now they're, you know, when you get them from a commercial hatchery or whatever, they're really not the right size and they've got different characteristics that aren't right. But, you know, that's what I'm trying to do is just take what they had and, and try to make it better. And uh, one thing that I hope that everybody really educates themselves on is the difference in between a European bird and an American bird. They're not the same thing. If you're gonna breed standard perfection birds, uh, don't buy European birds because their standards are different. They look different. They're beautiful birds, but we wanna stay with you know American standards and uh, really breed those back to perfection. So I hope you all enjoyed this and uh, uh, I'll see you all in the next video. You all have a great blessed day in Jesus and remember to seek God with all your heart.